Hey guys, welcome back to Learn Python the Hard Way. In this exercise, exercise 8, we're going to focus on printing. And we're going to see a more complicated formatting of a string. So let's get started by typing in the code and then executing it. So again, I opened my terminal, which if you're on a Mac, you can open by pressing Command and Space key and then typing in terminal. Now within the terminal, we can navigate to the right folder and take a look at the previous videos if you are unsure how to do that. So once we are inside of that folder, we can create a new file. We can do that by entering the touch command and then followed by the name of the file, which should end in py for Python. Once we have created that, we can type in ls to show the files, and then we can open the newly created file in our text editor. So I'm using Visual Studio Code, so I can just type in code for Visual Studio Code, followed by the name of the Python file. And instead of using the touch command first, you could also directly type in code, followed by the file name, that would then immediately create a new Python file. So let's press enter and this is going to open Visual Studio Code and we can type the code in here. So let's get started by defining a formatter. And this is going to be a string, which we can see because we have two quotation marks. And then within that, we are going to type in open curly braces, closed curly braces. And we can repeat that three more times. So we have four different curly braces within those quotation marks. Next, we're going to type in a print statement. And inside of the print statement, we are going to type formatter, which is the variable we defined previously, and dot format, which we already saw before that if we use the format command, then we can basically insert variables inside of a string. So here we're going to open the curly braces, or the parentheses rather, and type in the numbers 1 through 4. Now what's going to happen once we execute this is that we take the formatter string, which has actually those four placeholders inside of it, which start with an open curly brace and then a closed curly brace. And by calling format on that particular string, we are going to format any of those places where we have opened and closed curly braces, and we are going to replace any of those spots with one of the variables that we enter after it. So in this case, the numbers of 1 through 4. So this should actually print out 1, space 2, space 3, space 4. Next, we're going to type in print, followed by a format again. And this time we're going to format it, but we're going to insert the variable one, excuse me, not the variable, the um, string one, two, three, and four. Now in here, a similar thing is going to happen. So we are going to call the formatter string. And instead of inserting the numbers one through four, we're going to insert the strings one, two, three, four, which should be separated with a space. Next, let's print out formatter.format. And here we type in true, false, false, true. So these are Boolean expressions. And this again should be replaced within the string here. Next, we're going to type in print, again, formatter. Let me type that correctly. Dot format. And now we're going to actually enter formatter, so which again is um, actually that placeholder itself, that variable itself, itself. And we're going to type that in four times. Now what should happen here is that again, we're taking that formatter string and within those curly braces, we're going to replace any of those expressions with one of these values that we enter afterwards. Since we enter formatter again, actually in place of 
these two curly braces, we should insert four additional curly braces that are separated by a space. So actually this should print a total of 16 of those curly braces here. Let's check that out in a moment, but before we do that, let's add one additional print statement here. So formatter.format and here we type in try your comma own text here comma maybe a poem comma or a song about fear right so here now um, we do a similar thing we insert four different strings so it's kind of comparable to the second step here but this time we are formatting it a little bit different in this case we are writing it in multiple rows not in a single row as we did here but we are still separating it by commas so what should happen here is that actually we still print out formatter and then followed by try your in the first curly braces then a space followed by own text here followed by space and then maybe a poem another space and then finally or a song about fear and that should actually be printed out in a single in a single row so let's save this for now open the terminal here just going to clear it by pressing ctrl and l and then we can type in python 3 we can actually type in python 3.6 or python 3 that doesn't really matter followed by the name of the exercise so exercise 8 and let's press enter and now let's compare that to the solution here and let me just move this down a little bit so we can compare to the to what we typed in here so in the first case here we see one two three four which is basically what we expected because we are taking the formatter variable here and each of those curly braces is then replaced with one of those numbers here and as we do that actually those numbers here which are digits are then turned into a string themselves and are printed out in the next case we just have the numbers one through four which again are inserted in here into those curly braces and are basically replaced here the same happens for those four boolean expressions true false false true they again are printed out and are basically replaced here for those curly braces and then we have this case here where we actually pass formatter into formatter itself and then as expected we have four separate curly braces um, for each of those curly braces here because each of those spots here basically is replaced by again four of those entries so there will be a total of 16 of those curly braces and then finally we have this call here where we actually use that print statement across multiple rows and we have the text in here the vari variables that we pass in the strings and they are then placed in those four spots here it's actually all printed out in a single row so it doesn't really matter if we actually type that in in a single row comma separated or if we type that into multiple rows um, and so it's basically ignored once it's executed so that's looking good now let's take a look at um, the exercise description here so what we do is here is that we are using a function um, to turn the formatter variable which we defined here at the beginning into other strings and um, when we are typing in formatter.format which we're doing here for example and also in those other four cases we're telling python the following we're taking the formatter string which is defined in the first line and we call the format function on it by using dot format which is similar to um, telling it to do a command line command named format and then we pass those four arguments into that formatter uh, and actually into that format function here and um, we allocate that basically to the formatter 
a variable. So that will match up the four open closed curly braces in the formatter variable. And then this is going to pass the arguments to the command line command format. And the result of calling format on formatter is a new string that has the open closed curly braces replaced with the four variables. This is what print is printing out. And this is basically what we see in the terminal here. So that's quite a bit here, but um, we worked through the variables, we set up those print statements, and we used the format function that we called onto the formatter a variable passing in those uh, different arguments uh, to basically format what we print out. And that can be quite useful going forward by to replace particular uh, entries and um, pass variables into a string that we are working with. So that's it for exercise 8, and I'll see you guys next time focusing on exercise 9.